Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Rachni ship. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen. That it survived the centuries. This is miraculous. Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni. Mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Obviously, they were wrong. Ah, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. This is fascinating, but we don't have time to chat. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must be euthanized. <laughs> I am thinking that the Neutron Purge must be set off. How do we set off the Purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then I will get nearer and start. to the facility and am at your disposal. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Uh, six effort, Terran, three. That is not the correct code. Please report to security for arrest and interrogation. Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Who would have the code? Director of Operations, Yaroslav Tartakovsky, or any executive officer of Binary Helix. We're moving on. Logging you out, Command. Sovereign is the flagship of the rogue specter Saren. By mass relays are feats of Prothean engineering advanced far be Activate the Neutron Purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Code input 8750200079, Code Omega Local Execution. Verified. Code Omega Execution in 120 seconds.
What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the Commander resign when I wasn't looking? We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. Look, this is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch it through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? You found Rachni on Navaria? And then released the Queen. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? This Queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. My children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Don't pretend it doesn't bother you. She was your mother. She was. But she was not. I prefer to remember Benezia as she used to be, before she was corrupted by Sovereign's power. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you, and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met, Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high-strung. We don't have the luxury of time. An Asari can live for a thousand years. We're lucky if we hit 150. That is true. At first I thought that was a weakness of your species. After spending time with you and your crew, however, I think it may actually be an advantage. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to change their minds, Shepard. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what happened on Akuz. The fact that you survive shows a remarkable strength. You didn't need to go behind my back. I would have told you whatever you wanted to know. I apologize, Commander. After our last conversation, I was afraid I would say something stupid again. I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. 
Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Delenko. The Lieutenant and I are just friends. Nothing more. My mistake, then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that, too? No. You were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it, too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. These things never make sense. They just happen and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. I am not used to this. You... I need some time. Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. Thank you, Shepard. Let's... Let's just talk about something else for now. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. I get the feeling you want to ask me something, Commander. I just wanted to talk. Of course, Shepard. What did you want to talk about? I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Good timing, Commander. We got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. Top priority clearance. I'll take it in the comm room. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission against Saren. I'll take all the help I can get. We've received an urgent message from one of our infiltration regiments in the Traverse. I'm listening. We currently have several infiltration units scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. What did they find? Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in Saren, we thought you might want to investigate this. Find out what happened to our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. November. Vermeer is a lush world located on the frontier of the Attican Traverse. 
Its vast seas and orbital position on the inner life zone have created a wide equatorial band of humid, tropical terrain. Only the political instability of the region has impeded efforts at colonization. Many times the Citadel has opened negotiations to settle Vermeer with various criminal gangs and petty dictatorships in the nearby Terminus systems. All fell apart due to internal power shifts within the opposing parties. The Citadel has written off the colonization of Vermeer as impossible without significant political change. The Terminus powers themselves are unlikely to ever settle Vermeer. Most lack the resources to support settlement of a virgin world, finding it more expedient to steal from their neighbors than build for themselves. Message coming in. Patching it through. I've received some information I thought you'd want to see, Commander. Someone is killing former Alliance scientists. There have been four deaths in the past month. I'm happy to look into it, Admiral. What can you tell me? We found a connection between the scientists and you. They all worked on a classified project several years ago, on a coup's. This can't have anything to do with what happened to me on a coos. Those Thresher Maws killed dozens of soldiers. If this was more than just an accident, we need to know. Commander, Shepard, what you do with this is up to you. I just thought you'd want to know. There was one other scientist on the project, Dr. Wayne. I'm transmitting his last known coordinates. Good luck. Fifth lead out.
Stay back! I've got no grief with you. All I want is this bastard. Please! He's a madman! Mr. Toombs, you're insane! You need help! Shut up! You don't get to lie! You don't... Shepard? My god, Shepard, is that you? Corporal Toombs? But... But I saw you die on the coups. I, how did you get here? They took me, Shepard. The scientists. You can't prove any of this. This man is delusional. See, they were running tests on the Thresher Maws. They let those things hit us just to watch and study. I woke up in a holding cell. The scientists were delighted I'd survived. Now they had someone to run tests on. Tombs, I, I didn't see anybody. If I'd seen you, I would have come back for you, I swear. You can't believe Tombs. He doesn't have any proof. I demand a fair trial. Shepard was at Akuz. That's all the proof she needs. This man deserves to die, Shepard. For you, for me, for everyone else in the unit. Are you with me? You're better than this, Tombs. You're not like them. Don't tell me who I am. You got away with a few scratches and a scary reputation. The rest of the unit died, and I was tortured for years, Shepard. You can't judge me. You don't have the right. Tombs, if I could have helped you on a coup, I would have. All I can do is help now. Let me. <sighs> okay. I'm no murderer. They couldn't make me one. Just as long as he goes to trial. Maybe the screaming will stop now. I don't know. Those bastards can't hurt you anymore. Joker, tell the Fifth Fleet we need a ship for pickup. Aye, aye, Commander. Message coming in. Patching it through. I reviewed your report on the situation, Commander. I'm glad to see you were able to take Dr. Wayne in alive. Now we can put him on trial and get some answers. Corporal Toombs seems to have found some closure. Hopefully with therapy, he'll have a normal life again someday. I hope this helped you find some peace, Commander. Thank you. Fifth Fleet out.